All right, today we're going to go through another subscriber question. And the answer to this question is going to be the binary checksum function in SQL Server. And the question was, I was asked in a data engineer interview how to compare all the columns between two different tables. The answer was row hash between both tables. How do you do this in SQL Server? And the answer is the binary checksum function among, there's a couple of different ways, but that's the way I would recommend right now. Uh, and I'll give you the full URL for the documentation in, in the description of the video, but we're going to take a look at a specific example. All right, so I've got a table here. It's just a command log, and it's just basically a log table for a process. It's got some columns in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the binary checksum function. And really the syntax is you, you call the function, you give it a column, or a list of columns. You can actually have a comma separated list of columns in the table. And there's it's a variable arguments function. So you can pass multiple parameters in here. So we'll take a look at what it looks like. So I've got just the object name in this case, and then the binary checksum of that name. So what happens is this is a deterministic function. So if you give it the same inputs, you're going to get the same output no matter what you pass in. So now we're going to take a look at multiple calls to this function. So what I'm doing here is I'm joining command log to itself. And I know the question was different tables, but it's the same, same method if it's different tables. I'm just doing it for simplicity now. So I'm joining the, com the command log on the primary key. And I'm saying, and I'm trying to pick just one specific row here. And then I'm saying, and in the in the filter of the where clause, I'm saying we're the binary checksum of the L the L1 command type and command equals L2 command type and command. So first of all, I'm going to do it without the comparison. So we've got command type checksum here, and we've got this value with starts with one two nine and ends with find by two. You see it matches here. And then we've got the multi-column checksum, which I've got command type and command, and that's the value that comes back. And this is coming from the alias L1, and the other one's coming from the alias L2. So we're basically, it's equivalent to having two different tables here. We're joining on the ID column, and then we're going to compare them. And as you can see, they're equal. I'm just going to add that filter onto the where clause, and you see it still shows up. So this is showing us where things are equal. And you could do this with different tables and any columns in the tables that you want. You basically pass however number of columns in here separated by co commas. And here I'm just showing that you can go through the whole table and you're not going to have anything that has a different object name but has the same binary checksum. So this is going to take a little bit to, to run. Um, so this is very useful, very common thing to do is to be is to need to compare values in different tables. You know, if you want to keep things in sync or whatever you might want to do uh, that, that requires comparison. And binary checksum is a great way to do it in SQL Server. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate the question. I hope I answered it. Hey, if you learned something today, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, give me comments, and send your questions. See you all later.